everyone, this is Allison Teal, and I wanted to do a little bit of behind the scenes as to what I would bring on a tropical adventure. So here is what's in my bag for my upcoming Allison's Adventures Fiji. Aloha! Starting in here on the necessities of food, some of these things I will leave for gifts um, in Fiji. They love chocolate. I've got the Patagonia Provisions new bars that have come out they're really good they don't have sugar they're just fruit and berries and nuts definitely bring some camp mix this stuff is awesome some almonds these are just raw almonds um some dried mango i've got some rice sesame sticks and some granola sunscreen department um, I've got raw elements here, and they are an incredible natural eco sunscreen, which um, protects the reef from getting all the chemicals on it, which is, is actually killing the reef. And it protects your skin, which is amazing, because sunscreen, believe it or not, can actually cause skin cancer. They've got the lip balms, the face stick, and the overall sunscreen, and then the... Um, tint formula which is almost like a, uh, a foundation and moisturizer with sunscreen. I also love the guys at Sierra Madre, um, the super salve company. They make uh, sunscreen, also face lotion and coconut cream body lotion and 24 hour deodorant from uh, these guys and it's coconut papaya flavored and you know how much I love coconuts. If you get sunburnt, you might wanna have some aloe vera with you if it does not grow there naturally. Over here we've got the hat department. Um, I've got some local Kona company hats here, baseball caps. Usually I love to use my beloved coconut hat. An airplane pillow, always nice for the neck. In the surf department, um, we've got surfboard racks, which you should always bring if you want to strap your boards to the top of a car. Um, these are FCS ones, but any quick cam straps will do, at least two of them. FCS leashes. I've got my seven, seven foot leash ready for my, my big wave gun for cloud break. Um, always bring multiple leashes, at least two leashes per board. Of course, the pink bikini. Odina made from recycled plastic bottles. This is my Allison's Adventures version of the Odina bikini. Then we've got wax, which is a necessary. Um, a local company here, Pacific Vibrations, and also some sticky bumps. You wanna bring a bar of base coat as well if your board doesn't already have wax on it. I've got the FCS and the Session Saver. These are both the same things and they're putty that you can stick on your board if you get a crack and it'll seal it up, and also the epoxy um, sun cure. This is like fiberglass uh, sun cure that you put on and can seal the board. Screws and a fin key. Fins here, um, these are actually eco fins made out of recycled materials, which is awesome. A sea line dry bag. Um, lots of people make epic dry bags, so you can just Google that, Amazon it. Um, really great for any trips with a lot of boats. And I also have the Patagonia dry bag backpack, which is one of my favoriteest items in the whole world because I can throw all my stuff in this for the day, use it as a backpack, and know that I will come home with all my equipment dry and there's a pouch in there. I can keep valuables and an outside pouch to keep sunscreen, etc. In terms of the rest of gear, I've worked with Eagle Creek for ages. They have a fun roll-on duffel. It also zips off the front into a backpack. Um, again, my beloved Patagonia pink and purple backpack and uh, Eagle Creek massive roller duffel that will fit the size of my tripod, which is important. First aid. Okay, so always bring either iodine or hydrogen peroxide. I prefer hydrogen peroxide, but I couldn't find a small enough bottle to take with me. Bring the disinfectants. You can also use lemon juice and just rub it in your cut really hard um, if you wanna go the natural way. I think, you know, for me, there's a balance between natural remedies. I'm very healthy. I've grown up with wild hippie parents. I believe in the natural, but sometimes when it comes to either hectic mosquitoes or, you know, really gnarly reef stuff, you gotta be, you gotta be on it. And you might need DEET and you might need the, the heavy duty stuff. Duct tape is always, always a must. I always say duct tape uh, makes the world go around. You know, the cotton swabs and an array of all kinds of band-aids, all sizes, and some waterproof, some not. Uh, this is probiotics and different homeopathics for cold and flu. Probiotics are extremely important to bring with you, especially if you end up having to take any antibiotics. It will get that good bacteria back in you. I will go down the line. I've got a tweezers. Um, rescue remedy is 
amazing. Some people call it yoga in a bottle. Um, just go to any Whole Foods or health store and you will find Rescue Remedy. It's a it's an incredible calming um, liquid for, for trauma. You put some drops under the tongue and it can calm you and relieve stress. Um, eye drops in Fiji, this is really important to me when you're out in the sun all day. One of the best in the West for tropical adventures is New Skin, which is a liquid band-aid. It's an antiseptic and it's also a, a cover-up so you put it on dry skin on the cut and it'll seal it and so you can go in the water and and run around in the dirt and everything and nothing will get in there. In order to take it off, you paint new new skin on the cut and you wipe it, kind of like nail polish remover, and then you can reapply it once it's dry and it will also um, disinfect it. It's tea tree oil. Now tea tree oil is ultra um, important in disinfectant as well, so that's really good for for staff or any kind of antibacterial anything. So you can rub it on, um, dab it on. I'm gonna be putting it on my cuts for sure. Arnica for any bruises, aches, pain relief. It's a flower remedy that um, is incredible with helping with pain. And it's also been um, added to things like Tromiel. Tromiel is a pain relief. A lot of athletes use it, yeah, even Olympic athletes. Uh, it comes in a pill form and it also comes in a form like this, which is a rub on um, pain relief where you just, you know, you get a bruise or a sprain and you rub it in like a cream. Benadryl, which is an anti-itch cream, um, in case for mosquitoes, bee stings, bug bites. Ibuprofen, um, I don't really believe in taking a lot of painkillers or anything internally, but this is always a must to have with you. Um, if I take these, you'll see me being very, very funny. I get drugged pretty quickly, um, but always bring ibuprofen with you. The Neosporin antiseptic cream, super important. Uh, my belief in cuts is actually you want to keep them as dry as possible. So unless the cut, unless the cut is really bad, um, you do not want to put this on. You want to just let it dry out. If the cut is bad, you want to put this on during the day, have it covered up, um, and then at night just let it be dry and dry and dry because dryness is what heals essentially. Super glue is also a really super thing to bring in your first aid kit. Actually more than just being a glue to hold things together, it could actually hold skin together with cuts. I know they used it in the army a lot, so it's a backup fail safe if you need to glue that massive leg slash together. Bigger band-aids um, and non-stick pads. So what you'd do is you'd put these adhesive pads on any big, big cut, and then you'd use this tape to seal it on because sometimes band-aids aren't big enough. So you've got waterproof tape here, um, a very important essential Tegaderm, which is a really cool uh, sort of band-aid. It's clear um, and it's sticky around the edges. And one of my my favorite cures for colds or keeping your immune system up is called Yin Chow. Um, it's a Chinese herbal medicine and it comes in either a box, um, a package like this, or a bottle similar to this Tromil one. You just go to the health food store or Whole Foods, you ask for Yin Chow. They're these brown little tablets. Um, they're herbs, but they're incredible for immune system. I need an internal Benadryl as well in case you get bit by a bee or anything, any of the biting kind. Nasal decongestant of sorts. I don't, again, like taking this stuff, but you never know when you might need it, some sort of Sudafed. Mole foam, mole foam is really awesome when it comes to blisters. So if you get a blister, you just cut a donut. So you make a circle in this and then you make a little hole in the middle and you put that circle like a Band-Aid over your blister and then you can put your shoes on and um, hike as normal without it rubbing. I always bring some emergencies with me. Uh, there's a lot of natural formulas of emergency and electrolytes. Um, these ones have sugar, which I'm not too into, but if you need a quick grab and go, electrolytes are extremely important to have and or electrolyte tablets. We also need um, ear drops, very important. Tincture of the day. This stuff is unreal. We call it the red stuff in the surfing world. It's magical. Um, I get this in Indonesia. Um, and it, it's crazy. It looks like iodine and you just drop it on a cut like the tincture and it's bright red and it uh, looks like blood and it dries the cut immediately. 
and heals it. It's pretty crazy. It, it, it burns, so beware. It burns. Then I've got ace bandages in case anybody rolls an ankle. You can wrap it up. Vitamins, of course. I've got vitamin C and vitamin B is incredible for immune system and stress. Toiletry items. I love Dr. Bronner's soap. Um, I like the bar soap just because I'm not wasting plastic bottles. Toothbrush. I like to bring the little Steri pods and put them around my toothbrush to keep it um, bacteria free. These have little bacteria zappers in them. Um, nail clippers, hair ties are very important as well. Here's a whole thing of them. What I do is I put conditioner in my hair and I wrap it up and put a hair tie around it so the sun doesn't fry it when I'm surfing. A little Natural Tom's toothpaste and I love this chapstick. Um, Eco Lips is, is my favorite. It's not a sunscreen but it's, it's nicer putting on at night um, after you get back to your shack. Tech world of what I bring equipment wise. Um, I've got a Manfrotto mini tripod here. Uh, this is the kind it is in case you are curious on getting one. The equipment I'm gonna show you is what I personally bring. I usually travel with a cinematographer like Sarah or Mark and they bring an array of incredible cameras and, and equipment. So this is more just for my point and shoot handiness. Um, a gorilla pod, these are awesome because you can twist them all around, you can put them around trees, you can hook them onto weird areas, um, and then forget that your camera's there. I always bring everything in pelican cases. They're watertight, it keeps everything out of the elements. Dive watch here, and it's pink of course, so it's always great to have something to tell you the tides, tell you what time it is, how deep you are, when you're gonna die, stuff like that. Goal Zero, which is a great solar company. Um, this can be charged by a solar panel or also by a wall socket, and basically it's just a, it stores power so you can charge, um, you know, anything you want, your cell phone, your computer, and, uh, and that way, you know, if you're on an airplane in an airport, you just plug it in and it has power. I also love these. They're just small USB chargers, also made by Goal Zero. Um, you can put your cell phone, it usually has like one to two cell phone charges in them. I always bring an HDMI cord uh, to Thunderbolt just in case I want to plug my computer in to screen anything anywhere. You know, sometimes you'll walk up to a village or a home and they're like, oh, we'd love to see your photos, your film, and then this can couldn't hook up to their TV if they have one and be able to show, um, to show it. And usually it streams sound through it as well. This is my fun just point and shoot camera that I've been bringing on the adventures. Uh, it's a little big. Um, but it does have the outs for a mic, which I like, and it also has a flip screen, so I can selfie it up. This is what it is if you're interested in getting it, the XA20 from Canon. The reason I actually got this camera, um, and I'm also shooting right now on my G7X Canon PowerShot, which is uh, smaller and even better for selfie stuff or what they call kind of the YouTube camera, so to say. Um, the reason I got this one is because it has night vision and I really like that ability to be able to shoot at night if something really cool is going on. It kind of gives that, that, uh, that scary feel. Apple laptop MacBook Pro computer, um, mostly because I'm editing films as we go and it's great to you know be able to flip it open anywhere when you're on the road. Um, some people would prefer like a MacBook Air if you're not doing heavy editing, probably a lot lighter uh, to carry, but I love my big baby here. And then I usually keep it in this progress project bag. Um, this bag is epic. They make surfboard bags and all kinds of, all kinds of bags actually. And this one is made from a recycled billboard. These are really awesome um, eco headphones and I love supporting anything that is good for the environment. And then the little, you know, Apple, Apple iPhone um, headphones are great to have just that are light so you can stick them in your pocket. I always bring a card reader um, for different, you know, various cards. There's so many different cards nowadays, the mini micro SDs and the SDs and the compact flash. So this is also a little Pelican case to keep the SD cards in. We have a road mic here, and this is what goes on Sarah's DSLR cameras um, to, to capture better sound. Waterproof Motorola walkie-talkies, a power strip, um, because when you go to another country, they have a different outlet, so then you just have to bring one adapter and then all of this will work. 
GoPro accessories, of course, with the GoPro. Um, this is the four. Also, their headlamps. Knives. Don't put them in your carry-on. I've done that mistake before. Um, I like to bring just a simple flip knife. Then also like a Leatherman, um, just so that you can have a multi-tool, be ready for any kind of situation. This one's pretty heavy duty. It has all kinds of stuff in it. This is a great hand scale for weighing your luggage before you go on a trip. It's light, it's easy to bring with you, and then you're not overweight. Shoe department. I've got my keen shoes. These are launching soon. They're called the Sage Collection, and they're my own personal Allison shoe that I get to represent, and I'm so excited. And they're great for in water and trekking and out of water, and they got great tread. Because when I go to a surf location um, that has reef, I bring reef booties. Uh, these are surf reef booties. Now, I got these O'Neill ones because they're the only ones that fit me. I have such tiny feet, but almost every surf company makes surf booties. In the snorkel department, I like to bring a snorkel, a mask with me when I go places, pink preferably. Um, the fins, these are my favorite fins. Uh, they're body surf fins, but I love to use them in any kind of environment. Unless I want to go like deep um, free diving, then I got these fins, and this is the only brand that actually fit me. They're kids free dive fins. Then we've got the surfboards. So this is a big FCF's travel wheelie bag that can fit two to three boards. Um, inside, I usually put each board within uh, another bag or within a board sock like this. So I have three boards in here right now. Um, and they will fit by one in a sock and two boards in a real regular bag. It's important, I think, to have your boards in individual bags within here because when you get there and you want to just grab one and go on a trip, then you can. You can also stuff things around the corners of these bags to keep your boards from breaking. I'm going to give you a quick rundown on clothing. Again, if you're a guy, this might be a little bit different. In the clothing department, um, I usually like to bring some sort of beach bag over the shoulder bag. This is a nice uh, Patagonia pink one. It's any situation where you're going to be on a boat, surfing, anywhere pretty much from jungle to sea, you're going to need a really good rain jacket. So make sure you got a good waterproof jacket in there um, with a hood. Odina tights made out of recycled plastic bottles. These are super soft and fun. They're great for yoga or for surfing. And then I like to have, you know, just to hang out around kind of gauzy pant for island life. I usually bring a lot of dresses because they're easy to slip on and off. So your typical kind of island dress. I also like to bring stuff like the Patagonia sporty dresses because they're great if you want to go, you know, on a village adventure, but you don't want to be all <clears throat> magical princess. I like to bring um, light, lightweight tops, light cotton for places like Fiji. Um, cotton's not a great thing to have on adventures in the cold where you're going to get wet. It doesn't dry very quickly, so no jeans or that sort of thing. A beach sarong. Um, I use them on the airplane for warmth as airplane blankets. You can use them as a scarf. You can use them as a beach towel. You can use them as a sheet at night. A fast drying towel. These are like swim towels. Um, they're really thin and they wick up water. I like to bring, you know, easy drying like baggy shorts from Odino or Patagonia. Um, sometimes I do bring some jean shorts if it's going to be a tropical environment where I know I'm not always going to be wet and I can be on the beach. Or you could bring your typical like surf short. These are some uh, Patagonia surf shorts. Mission is on. I hope that video was helpful to you. If you want to comment on this or ask me any questions or send me any messages across social media, I will do my best to direct you to where all of this can be found. Lots of aloha from Hawaii, and I hope you enjoy our Allison's Adventures Fiji. Stay tuned, aloha!